Hello, in this video, we will learn how to use a histogram for in codices. Okay, you will find these options available under the visualization toolbox and measurements control. Okay, so the histogram is actually a good is a good visualization tool for you to visualize your data from one dimensional array. Okay, so just to get give you a initial view uh, view of what it looks like, we will first create a uh, one dimensional array by declaring array zero dot dot uh, maybe 99 of view okay and then uh, I'll need to initialize it with some data so okay uh, so I'll added some code to initialize the data from uh, 0 to 99 into the array itself okay so now let me run the code okay I think okay no sorry before I run the code link the array to the histogram and lock in okay wait wait okay so before that before you can lock in scan for your device select it and now you can press the lock in button Now, you can see this is uh, your histogram can display your data in the form of bar graphs and it actually goes from in between the different array. Okay, uh, and you'll go through every single index of your array and display the data according to your the scale you have provided. Okay, so there are some adjustments available on the side, such as if you want to use a subarray, I only want to use a array data from maybe. 20 to uh, 70 you don't want to display everything you can use such an option secondly if you don't like uh, bar graphs you can also change it to other lines or curve graph okay yeah other the other settings over here is uh, should be straightforward you don't need uh, no okay so now let's just say that you have scale uh, you have uh, data that you want to change uh, you are, sorry, you want to change the scale of the data. You can also easily change over here, and you will respond accordingly. So you see, this change to the scale of the ending. And if you like to have uh, more, uh, more subdivision, is actually over here in the subscale. Where if you reduce it, maybe if I change it to one, then the subscale is a bit a lot more defined over here. Okay. And maybe if you want, you can also do every ten. Okay. So this is up to you. And secondly, let's just say that if you want to use, let's just say that if you do not like the display in terms of a dot uh, dot zero, you do not like to see the decimal. You can simply just change the value over here to its a uh, modifier. So if you want to have more decimal, you can just change the increase the number. Ah, and you have more decimal. If you want to only have integer, change it to percent %d. Okay. 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 And next, you are also able to set a, a two different color for your bar graphs. Such as for example, I'm going to set a value over here so that any value that's less than 50 will be appear in red and everything else will be in green okay and lastly if you have more color because due to the limitations over here you can only split the uh, bars into two different color but if you want to use more color we can record you can consider using the color areas which basically color the background over here so how does it even use it? Let's just say maybe from 0 to 20, you can change the color. Uh, maybe I can use a like a color to represent the good values. And if you want, you can create even more areas. And up to for you to configure yourself. Okay. Uh, 0 to 20, 21 to let's just say 45 
Oh, sorry. I think you can start from twenty. Maybe you can go to green color and maybe forty-five to eighty, and then we can have nice purple color. Yeah. So these are the various classification customization you can do with your histogram. And voila, you see? Yeah. Okay. It splits the value according to color and it's also it's also uh, showing the range of the uh, array that you want. Okay, between yeah, uh, with the between from the setting from array zero, index zero to index seventy. Okay, so these are some of the yeah very s simple visualization tool. Yeah, so when can you use it? Let's just say that uh, for example, okay, I actually have a uh, vibration data and I want to show the vibration spectrum, spectrum band. Okay, so to know what is the um, vibration. Uh, of uh, how heavy the vibration is in the, its own frequency subbands. Okay, yeah, I can just yeah, in and if for you to easily understand uh, the general convention, you show this in the bar graph, and this the uh, histogram can be used to demonstrate the I uh, to show it uh, as accordingly. Okay, so just as a uh, teaser. I will just uh, show you what I've done already. Ah. Okay, and let me change. So let's just say that if you have uh, multiple uh, programs, you can also uh, control which uh, which program is executing by going to the tasks. Okay. I'll just simply change this to here and well let me load the new code can see I already uh, yeah I already done my scaling as properly if I shake my vibration sensor it should be able to give me like some vibration reading just like your um, yeah just like the graphs in the spec uh, the spectrum analysis yeah unfortunately for the uh, histogram one weakness is that it cannot uh, it does not uh, have its own um, x-axis. Yeah, you cannot configure it. So, uh, well, the workaround is to make your own axis and just display it underneath. Okay. So yeah, that's all. Okay. Enjoy using codices. Bye.